a half mile in on Bear Rocks Trail. Ciao. Beautiful maple starting to turn. Things are starting to turn. We may have got the rain just in time to salvage the leaf colors. Ciao. Good after. About a quarter to two. I got, hopefully, less than two miles to go. Have no clue where I'll be camped. Might have to backtrack. Who knows? It is, as you can see, a gorgeous day. I'll let you go. pictures of the green snake. Couldn't get any video of him though. He was shy. Oh, I'll let you go. I think I was in the same area. Last time, last week, I have no idea where I'll camp again. go. Ah, good evening. It's a little after four. We've probably been here since between 2.30 and 3. Here is the spruces off of Dobbin Grade where it crosses the left fork where the trail makes that sudden sharp curve. If you just go straight, this brings you into these spruces. Now I'm camped in the back site. I usually leave the larger front site open for other folks because hell, there's just me. That is tarp I've had for years. This is probably one of the few DCF tarps that I've had. This one's actually made my Z-Packs. Yeah, baby, hammock. I was getting tired of ground dwelling. I needed to get back in my hammock. Hammocks are just nice. I can lay there, get comfortable. I brought a copy of the Reader's Digest. Hell, I may even play solitaire. Who knows? I don't know if anybody will pull in at this other site or not. It'd be, I'd be surprised if they didn't. Last weekend, between probably 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock, there must have been a dozen and a half people come through here looking for a place to camp. It's nice. Temperatures in the low 60s. I think it's low. Let me look. Oh. Actually, it's 65. The wind's kind of cool, so it's cool back under the spruce trees. Out in the sun, it's actually quite warm. It's probably warmer out there, too. Hopefully, it doesn't get too cold because I opted for, I call it two and a half season gear. 40 degree under quilt, 40 degree top quilt. Got my under quilt protector to block the wind. Uh, both quilts have an extra ounce of down. I've actually taken the under quilt to 31, the top quilt to 27. The top quilt was with matched up with a a war bonnet yeti, but uh, so yeah, I should be good even if it hits the 30s. I'll let you go. Actually, I don't think I told you which hammock I was using. I have my uh, war bonnet. 1.1 single. I've had that since, I don't know, 2011. This is its second trip out this year. Actually, I need to pull out the shelf thingy. That's kind of nice. I definitely need to pull that baby out. Ciao. Good evening. Man, it feels nice to be in a hammock tonight.
It's just so much more comfortable, livable. Probably play a little solitaire. I even brought a copy of the Reader's Digest. What time is it? It's almost 25 after 5. I haven't heard a person. I haven't heard anybody. I mean, I know it's not a holiday weekend, but it's a beautiful weekend. Last weekend, there were people going past my campsite. A, a lot of people between about 4 and 8. Uh, ain't, ain't been anybody come through. That may be very quiet. Well, except for the deer. Heard deer snort. I had a big doe come right up along the edge of my campsite. Oh, well. <laughs> I like deer. Well, I'll let y'all go for this evening. Maybe I'll do more video tomorrow. Who knows?